Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Witch's Bounty box for October 2020. Um, this box was gifted to me, but the opinions are my own. Let's check it out. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. Of deep roots. Oh, so exciting. I'll read that later. So this is a beautiful art. Key cat, beautiful lady. Amber, so that kind of gives me a little hint. I love these arts, they're so pretty. And what I've liked recently is that they've been um, using all different types of looking people, or witches. And I've enjoyed that immensely. Ooh, this one's covered with herbs. Ooh, smells yum, yum, yum. I want to sneeze. <coughs> Pardon me. Woo! I got some of those little herbs in my nosy. Gentle guide. Look at all that. Cool. Very cool looking. Ooh, and it's got a big old crystal on it this time. I can hear it moving. Mmm. It smells like fall. But not spicy fall, but like soft fall. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Amber, so pretty. Oops. We've got a brown, stretchy, velvety cord. Oh, let me smell this incense. Hmm, it smells, um, different. I don't know what I was expecting, but it's not, it doesn't smell like I was expecting. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I'm so excited. Beautiful. Like, I don't know, sunshine yellow or sunflower yellow. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Look at the flowers. Wow. Sumatra Amber and Sterling Silver Pendant. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely stunning. Let's read about it. Oh my god. So pretty. In a world that commonly finds itself disconnected and technologically engaged, it is very easy for us to ignore the beauty that resonates just outside our doorstep. Wafting through fields, surrounding mountains, and rushing along riverbeds, we find that within these natural spaces, there is energy. This energy carries within it the divine life force and is easy to connect with on a deeply intimate and profound level. From the deep-rooted deep rooted trees to the single herb growing in an empty field, there is an energy that is, not, that is so human and grounding that it calls to us, reminding us of where we came. It is here where we become one with nature, calling upon her to heal our wounds, both physical and spiritual. It is here where we can hear the whispers of life pass, gently guiding us on our path ahead. It is simply our task to be silent and still, listening for words of wisdom that may be passed along on the afternoon breeze. In this truly special collection, we work with these very energies to provide a sense of protection and companionship as we focus on internal growth and transformation in the coming months. Sumatra Amber Pendant with 0.925 filigree setting silver. It's one of our favorite and most collected stones or fossilized items. Amber has been a large inspiration for a number of projects we have worked on over the years. This specific type of amber was discovered in Sumatra in Southeast Asia and is completely natural without treatment of any kind. Sumatran amber is commonly known for having spots or dark areas floating within it. Dating between 20 to 200 million years old, amber is fossilized resin and is found in a variety of beautiful colors and hues. Used for creating jewelry and ornaments almost 5,000 years ago, amber has found its way into the stories of ancient Egypt and floats through the great mythologies and imagery of ancient Greece. It is said it is upon the death of Phaeton, Phaeton his sisters wept uncontrollably, eventually turning into poplar trees and producing tears made of amber. This wonderful ancient gemstone provides a sense of well-being and warmth to the carrier and is known as the humble companion silently grounding us. 
as this stone comes from the for living form of trees, it carries with it such deep significance and energy. It is very common to see the stone turned into beautiful pendants, placed within rings, carved into figures, or simply admired for its beautiful color. We have found the amber to be a stone of tranquil and confident temperament, providing us with a sense of belonging and foundation. As life becomes hectic and chaotic, leaving seeds of doubt and anxiety within your psyche, allow amber to bring you closer to nature. This silent teacher carries the old and wise soul of nature's past and whispers comforting words and encouragement in times of need. We strongly recommend spending time with this incredible stone, working to understand what its energies may do for you specifically so that you are able to call upon it when needed. Wow. So Gentle Guide Magical Anointing Oil. It's to bring calm and gentle energies to your sacred space so that you're readily available to receive messages and signs from your guide. It has chamomile, lang lang, and clove, as well as chamomile and elderflower herbs, along with other magical oils from our personal cabinet of witchery used to create this special blend. We have included a lamari and mini quartz. Comfort ritual incense sticks. Very cool. Allow us purifying and calming qualities to release you from worry so that you may truly focus on your work in front of you. Nature's Bounty Spell Candle. We have hand rolled the spell candle with you, for you with the intention of providing grounding and earthly energies. Um, it's rolled in yarrow, so very cool. A polished amber. Carry stone with you throughout your day or place them on your altar to benefit from its beautiful energies. Amber Book of Shadows artwork. This is beautiful. I'm really happy. It's kind of funny. I, I, I always say that this box is like super on point with what's going on. I mean, with me personally. Um, and I've actually been, so you probably know about the fires and what has happened and it's been a lot. But actually one of the saddest things lately, and it's not sad because it's already done, but you know, a large portions of my property burnt, including like dozens of very, very old trees on my hillside that are irreplaceable. And so, I mean, you can plant a new tree, obviously, but uh, the amount of life is gone. That life is gone. And so it's been really sad because um, before the rains come and whatnot to prevent more future danger, um, some of them have had to been cut down and it's just been really a bummer um it's been really a bummer not that i mean uh, with everything else going on that in and of itself is not so significant it's just that we wanted to to um hold off as long as possible on cutting any of the trees no matter how burnt they were um because we have it on authority from the oregon um you know the master growers your town probably has some too, but your university will usually have an agricultural center with master growers that will give you answers about your questions on your property and stuff. And they said if we give it to the spring, a lot of the trees will come back, but unfortunately because some are near power lines and some are near, just some are very dangerous and very large and very, 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 very badly burnt. Um, we did have to cut some despite um, not wanting to. And so that was very painful. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of nice, um, it's kind of, it, it touches me because it's like just thinking about trees and, and their long lives and, and what they contribute and <sighs> has been on my mind lately. It's just another thing, like, I guess when you're going through grief and trauma and loss, you kind of like fixate on things that for other people would seem very small, but in the context of this bigger monstrous thing that you're dealing with, um, it's just some, it's just a focal point of like, of pain. I, I don't know. Anyways, it really resonates deeply. So I'm super pleased. I'm going to leave the link below. This is a wonderful box, high quality adornments, incredibly magical amulets. I really, um, recommend it to you. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I hope I connect with you soon.